This has had to be one of the busiest summers of my life. Like I've had summers where I've been in the lab, but it's not been anything like this. So in this vlog, let's have a look at a day, or an exhausting day in my life as a PhD student. So on this day, I had to actually wake up a bit earlier than normal to go stop my experiments. Uh, and so I had to get up at 5 a.m. And usually when I have to get up super early to stop or start an experiment, I usually just don't like get ready like I normally will so I don't shower and stuff I just jump straight into the bathroom brush my teeth and yeah head up the house but in this case I knew I was super tired so I had to find something that would motivate me because I really did not want to be in love this early and seeing as I just bought a gimbal for my camera um, a DJI running SC I think for my camera so I had to pack this with me and say okay I'm gonna set this up in the lab you know something exciting to make me actually look forward to the rest of the day I do this a lot when I'm having really busy days I just pick something I know I would be excited and there's something I'd look forward to later in the day and yeah use that as my motivation I head off and cycle off to the lab it's summertime so around like five from like four o'clock it's already like the sun starts rising and so by like 5 36 you can see, you see like it just looks just as bright as it would be at like 9 a.m. I finally arrived at the lab and as you can see my lab's bench or my lab space is a reflection of how my life is right now. It's like it's not that messy but like things are just all over the place. <laughs> I'm just trying to manage so many things at the same time. Uh, so I, I start off with actually just sorting out my bench because I just think I must always have a clean bench before I start the day so it, it just it just makes me feel like I'm sorting out my life if my bench is clean. Uh, although I've heard that like the further you stay in academia or the longer you stay in research like you kind of start having like more and more messy benches if that makes any sense. I don't know I think you just stop caring about this type of stuff. Anyways I walk down to do a check myself and I'm rambling along the way and then I get to the tissue culture room where I pick up my plates and check my cells and see if they're ready for an experiment I need to do today. Turns out they're ready, so I treat them with the drug, and then I have 30 minutes to spare. And in this 30 minutes, I'm there thinking, I'm like, what should I do? I already have my camera, I have a microphone, so I decided to film the story time about how Apple's Siri almost ruined my university degree. I was sat there and I was like, I'm screwed, I am screwed, I am screwed. But here is the thing, and I'm not even joking, I think it's a very interesting story time. I will put this video up tomorrow on like two days or sometime soon but yeah it's a really interesting story time but if i leave it in this vlog the vlog is going to be way too long i'm just going to put it up so i'm just going to put it up as another video and then after that my time is done and i get back into work and i just keep working working and you know just doing normal lab sciencey stuff and by like midday i'm quite exhausted so i decide to go grab lunch and i go to this place called alternative talk shop which i actually believe make the best sandwiches in Oxford and other people have other places they prefer like Najas and Asan's kebab van there's on like Broad Street in Oxford for those who live in Oxford but I genuinely think this alternative talk shop actually makes the best sandwiches so I grab my sandwich and it's nice and sunny so I'm enjoying the sun and then after I had my lunch I thought I was gonna get back to work but I was super duper exhausted so I just called it <laughs> an afternoon and went home and told myself I was gonna be reading research papers I lied I slept and after like two hours of my afternoon nap I got back up and decided to do something a bit more active because it's just been like work 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 and I also need to burn a bit more energy now that I've had a nap in the afternoon because when I sleep in the afternoon I struggle to sleep in the evening so I started to play badminton with my friends at the park set up a badminton kit and here I'm just trying to like <laughs> play with Minton and still be able to get a video. So I'm not playing as well as I actually showed. And after like two hours of playing badminton, I decided I'm kind of bored of that and I switched to table tennis indoors. And we played this till about, I don't know, 7.30, 8 o'clock. And at this point, I am super exhausted. And yeah, I decided to call it a day and just come back home. And that wraps up what an exhausting day in my life is like. I try to do as much science as possible and still try to create enough time for things that would also excite me and you know still do some sports so I'm not just like burnt out just doing all science and stuff. Thank you very much for watching the video. I uh, really appreciate you being here. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and it's always very fun interacting with you guys. And so I'll see you next video. Peace.